Welcome back. In this video, I'm going to show you how to use center marks in your drawings. Let's start by creating a drawing document. Before I insert a drawing view, let's go to the Options window, Document Properties tab. Let me just drag it in. And let's click on the Detailing branch. By the way, the right section of the Properties window is only available if you're working with drawing documents. Let's check Center Marks, Slots, Part. Now let's click on the Center Lines Center Marks branch. We've got a few more properties here for managing those entities. The size and font of the center marks, how to orient the slot center marks, etc. All right, I've canceled out of that and let's bring in a top view. As you can see, the center mark for both the circle and the slot were inserted automatically. Let's highlight these annotations. Press Delete on the keyboard. Now let's go to the Annotation tab. Activate the Center Mark tool. Let's scroll down to the Auto Insert section of the Property Manager. We can select For All Holes, For All Fillets, or For All Slots. Under Manual Insert Options, we can use a Single Center Mark slot, Linear Center Mark, or a Circular Center Mark. Let's select this circle. The propagation glyph is what appears here. Let's click on that. These holes were created using a circular pattern, so SolidWorks has recognized the pattern without any problem and propagated the annotations appropriately. Now let's take a look at some of the slot center mark options. We can mark the slot center or the end of the slot. So there's the slot ends, here's the centers. Let's apply the center marks to the end of the slot. Once you've applied an annotation, it's easy to change. You can just toggle between the two types. These are the straight slot center marks options. Here are the same options, but for curved slots. So here's a curved slot, and let's toggle between the two types of center marks. We can check here to add or remove radial lines. Under Display Attributes, we can use the document defaults or specify some custom displays for this particular view. When you're done, click OK. To edit center lines and center marks, you can just double click on them right in the graphic area. The property manager opens. Let's click OK. And this concludes our video about working with center marks.